So today I'm going to be giving you my full review on the new Bad Boy Le Parfum by Carolina Herrera. Of course, I already did a first impressions on this one, and if you missed that video, well, I like this one quite a bit. I liked it as soon as I first smelled it, and now that I've had time to fully wear this one and test it and see the performance on it, I have to say, I really like this one a lot. I'm going to review this one, tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and ultimately, if I think this one's worth picking up. Now, like I talked about in the first impressions video, currently this one is only available at retail prices. I did grab this one from Macy's basically as soon as I saw it available at full retail, about $90 I think, plus tax. Um, one thing about buying at retail is you do get some free samples and stuff, so if you wanna grab one of these for yourself, I will link it down below. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one, starting off with how this smells. Now, when you first spray this one on, what you get immediately is black pepper, leather, and a nice bit of an herbal cannabis. But really, right off the opening, it's all about that leather and black pepper. It's strong, it's slightly animalic, it's spicy, it's kind of piercing as well. Um, I mean, that really hits you right off the bat, and uh, it is an eye-opener for sure. This isn't like a smooth, bright citrus or a smooth, creamy vanilla. Like, it is harsh, masculine, peppery, strong leather right in your face, right off the bat. It doesn't waste any time. And that's one thing that kind of went over my head when I smelled this one initially, you know, is that this is called Bad Boy. And that's kind of, you know, what you would think of scent-wise when you think of a bad boy. The original was very sickeningly sweet. Not something I would associate with a bad boy. So I think the uh, creative directors behind this kind of stepped back and thought, okay, we named the original bad boy and it kind of smells like a ugly girl. So they decided to go ahead and give this one a bit of a stronger, slightly earthier punchier opening and that leather and black pepper creates this uh, masculine strong commanding sexy opening there's a bit of vetiver in the base of this one and that comes through as you work into the mid and into the dry down it's not very strong but it just gives a nice woody support like i talked about there's a bit of an earthiness maybe a bit of a green touch and that will probably be coming from the geranium and the vetiver mixed and again it's pretty subdued Really for me, this one's all about the leather, black pepper, and then the cannabis. Now the cannabis will start to come in after this is settled down initially. Like I said, that initial blast is all about the black pepper and leather. The cannabis comes through when it starts to settle down. And you'll find that this is a nice green herbal cannabis, um, a little bit sweet. It's not a super smoky, stanky cannabis note. It's green and herbal. It's unsmoked cannabis. It smells really nice. It makes this one different. It makes it stand out. And again, that kind of uh, adds to the whole bad boy thing that they're trying to go with here with the marketing and the name. You know, it's an edgy guy wearing a nice leather jacket. He just has something different going on. That's kind of what this one portrays. And like I said in that first impressions, really surprised with this one, really impressed. It is something that does stand out and uh, smells quite a bit different than a lot of the other designer fragrances out there. And one thing I addressed in the first impressions, but I also want to briefly touch on here, is that this one on Fragrantica currently is getting compared to Black Afghano. And this bears no resemblance to Black Afghano, and that's obviously coming from the cannabis note. People see that and they're just automatically comparing the two. A Black Afghano is in a complete different league. I'm not even going to touch about quality and scent and everything like that. That's, of course, always going to be far superior on that end. Uh, but just in terms of scent, Black Afghano has oud, incense, um, of course, a little, little bit of cannabis in there, just a lot of like a resinous depth and very sweet completely different than bad boy here. So I wanted to clear that up. If you think, if you're thinking that you can get this one as like an affordable version of black Afghano, that's not going to be it. But to say that this one does lean a bit farther on the niche side than a lot of the other designer releases and from the original bad boy is something that I would agree with. You know, there are facets about this one and different qualities that make it a bit different and a bit less like your traditional designer. So this one's going to be really good for someone who is fed up with the sickeningly sweet men's designer fragrances and you want something with a bit of a dark edge, you know, a, a tad bit of a smoky feel from this one, uh, even though there's no smoke. I think it's just the way the vetiver comes across, maybe with a bit of the cannabis to give you that impression. Um, it just gives you a nice edgy feel. So let's go and touch on performance. And this is where it actually gets pretty good longevity on my skin, about eight, eight and a half hours. 
really solid and I'm pleased about that. I mean, that's great news because I do believe if I remember correctly, the original didn't perform that great on my skin, even though it was very sweet. Projection also is very good. It will push out. I mean, I don't really have to bring this one up to my nose for me to smell it. Just as I'm standing here, it's projecting through the air. It's wafting up. I catch whiffs of it without even having to try. So performance all around is very solid. Very happy with that. And you know, the more you smell this one, the more you get this cooling menthol type of smell, kind of more of a feel in your nose when you smell it. And that's also going to be coming from the geranium, giving it a cooling, fresh mintiness, bit of a green touch along with that cannabis lending to the herbal green notes in here as well. This one would be great for springtime, fall and winter. Summer is going to be a bit too much if you're wearing it outdoors. It would just be a bit too much for this type of DNA. It would get way too um, sweet and kind of cloying because, you know, it does have that depth to it. But more mild spring days, fall and winter, this one's going to be nice. You got to keep in mind there's a lot of spiciness to this one and having the cooler weather helps to round those edges off. And again, it's got kind of a refreshing type of smell to it to where even if it's uh, maybe a bit of a warmer spring day, you get that cooling vibe from this one, which will help uh, give you a nice cool feel. Compliment factor on this one is going to be pretty good. Now it's going to be a bit different and you definitely don't want to be judging reactions based off the opening. It's going to be way too peppery, way too strong for most women out there. I really feel like only true fragrance enthusiasts are really going to love the opening of this one because it is different. But when you let this one dry down and you get into that more smooth leather, you get into that nice green herbal cannabis, then at that point you will start to get some good reactions from this one. Because remember, it is still different, uh, but it does have that mainstream kind of smell to it to where women will like it. And again, it kind of has that edgy feel to it, which a lot of girls are going to like. And with all that being said, you have to keep in mind, this is probably not going to be your compliment beast like Versace Dylan Blue or Sauvage or Blue de Chanel, right? It's not going to quite fit in with those or on the sweet side of things, something like Armani Code Profumo Absolute Versace Eros, right? It still has a, kind of its own thing going on here. Some people may not like this one. But I do find that fragrances which are a bit more divisive oftentimes will get you the best compliments because the people who like this one will really love it and they'll be compelled to say something and the people who maybe don't care for it will just stay away from you and keep their mouth shut. I'm going to go ahead and wind this one down. My final thoughts on Bad Boy Le Parfum. Very solid. I really like this one. And this is definitely going to be popping up in more videos in the future. As soon as this one hits discounters and you know the price is knocked back a bit, uh, it's really going to be a fantastic pickup. Would I recommend you paying retail for it? I would say if you're into fragrances within this genre, you might as well go for it if you want to. I mean, you're going to be saving, I don't know what, 30 bucks off of retail by the time it hits discounters, if even. I don't actually remember what these go for. Uh, so it's going to be up to you. I don't know when they're going to hit discounters. Uh, but the fact that this one performs really good, has a unique smell to it, and overall has very nice smooth quality. I would say this one's worth the retail price tag if you're itching to get your hands on this one and try it out. And like I said, one perk that you do have with ordering retail is you get the free samples and stuff too. Not that that necessarily makes up for it for everyone and it definitely does it for me each time, but hey, when you have a good scent like this, it's a nice little extra bonus. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. That's my thoughts on Bad Boy Le Parfum. If you've had a chance to try this one, let me know what you think down below. If you haven't tried it yet, uh, let me know if you're excited to. You know, uh, if you don't like the original, like me, give this one a shot, seriously. I think you'll be impressed with it because like I said, I was not a fan of the original and this one is just miles ahead. You know, you could take the original, throw it away. I could never see it again. I could never smell it again and I'd be happy as long as I have the Le Parfum. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.